Well, the Vancouver Canucks are finally off the floor and on the board as they get through a battle with the Panthers. And it's JT Miller and OT as Quinn Hughes takes it over the line, retreats and gives it to Miller. JT just puts it in as he walks past Lindell and rips it. A perfect shot top cheese as he puts the Canucks back, or for the first time, I guess, in the W column. Florida likes to run a 3-forward lineup for 3-on-3 overtime. All offense, no defense, all gas. No breaks. And you know what? When you have Barkov in your lineup, it doesn't look totally foolish, but he's still out. And the three forwards they were running were Reinhardt Lindell and the rookie 21-year-old Sam Eskevich. And end up firing in Paul Maurice's face as the cats are toast. And even though the season just started, it felt like Vancouver was really, really waiting for this win. And they're finally on the big boy board with two points as they leave Nashville and Colorado as the most disappointing teams in the league, especially Colorado. Like, that team defensively seems to just be completely imploding. I saw a stat today that Colorado was first in power plays and last in penalty kill, which is not ideal. As I was recording this, Nashville was losing another one to the Oilers, and I came back to say, yes, they did lose, so they're 0-4 as well. It's just kind of crazy, and maybe it's the overabundance of NHL media, but it feels like there's so many teams who have been having must-wins early on in their season. But Canucks fans no longer have to worry about being compared to those two anymore. They've got their first W, thanks again to Miller and Quinn Hughes. The Canucks did also have two loser points, so it's different. It really is. Hughes, by the way, was a man on a mission tonight. He grabbed a goal and an assist while playing another 27 minutes of ice time, which he's also averaging on the year, 27 minutes a night. He's second in the league at those numbers, right behind Roman Yossi, but he plays a faster game, so his conditioning must be insane. After that, Sergachev, 26-47. Brock Faber, I would not have guessed this, 26-02, and then after that, it's starts to fall off pretty quickly. But now that Vancouver has that monkey off their back, who will be the last team to get a win this year? Colorado tomorrow night has a muffin of a game against Chicago. I think they'll get that win. Nashville does have Detroit. I can see them picking that up. My guess is honestly that it'll be another team we haven't mentioned, San Jose. They have overtime losses, but no wins yet. They have the Sharks, then Colorado, then Anaheim. So definitely winnable games, but I do think Nashville takes their game against Detroit if they don't however their next really good chance is probably chicago on the 25th so they very well could be last but that's all i've got let me know your thoughts on all this and more down below if you enjoyed today's video please drop a like and if you want more content there's a new basketball football and hockey video on screen right now i'll see you soon thanks for watching